Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Wilson Waffling Does Apps and this week we're going to be looking at an iPad app and it's an app that I use a lot when I'm out and about and I'm in school visiting student teachers or just working with small groups of children and the app that we're going to look at today is called Penultimate and it's just down here this is the new icon before it looked like a brown book but this is the new icon now so if I just open the book you can see that you it's almost like a notebook and it allows you to write things and draw things directly onto the actual screen so what I tend to use it a lot for is that as almost like a whiteboard or a quick note taker so first things first, down here at the bottom you have a, a selection of papers. So if we just click the basic button here, you can see the different sorts of paper you can have. So you can have dotted or lined or graph or plain. So say I tend to like graph paper, so I'm going to go for my graph paper. And then you can see that you get a nice screen for um, drawing on with no clutter at all and I really like this idea that it's sort of like totally blank and there are a whole load of tools but they're sort of like kept um, nicely away from the sort of like the center of the paper. So up here this tool here when you press on this tool it opens up the um, the notebook so to speak and you can see that I've got two pages here page one and two. The, the edit button um, here allows you to um, insert a page or to actually delete a page. So once you've pressed edit, you can tap on the actual um, pieces of paper to get the actual information. So we're just going to leave that, go back to done. And then I'm going to press the cross up here to collapse that in. Now over here, this little pen tool here at the moment is actually the complete toolkit. So when you press that, you get the whole toolkit sort of like going out. So this first one here, this is the sort of like back to the paper. So if you'd like to change it to dotted paper, this will allow you to click on dotted paper or back to the, the graph paper. Or if you want to go to the line, that's there as well. Now this next one is the um, photograph. So you could actually um, use a photograph that's in your um, camera or take your own. Uh, now the next one is uh, to do with um, um, JotScript, which is like a stylus that um, Evernote uses. Um, I don't actually have one of these, so but um, what I'll do um, I'll just use my finger for the rest of the um, video. This is the undo button. This button here is the um, eraser and if you hold it down you can then you can see there as I move along you can see where the eraser would be. So if I wanted to draw something if I come across to this pen tool here and click on it you can see I pick up a pen and just by tapping it again I can choose the um, width I want the pen to be. This is a highlighter pen and again if you tap it again you can go from really broad to really thin. This yellow um, ink droplet is the colour so if I go back to my um, pen and then tap on my ink color you can see that I can pick up some a nice like blue this here is um, a, another pen tool that allows me to draw in like a dotted uh, oh no sorry I think that's my select tool I think that's what it is sorry that was my fault I've never used that one before I tend to use this use the pen tools so let, let's see how we can get this um, working now. So once you've clicked and chosen your tool, you can just click the little um, triangle there and it'll take it back. So now you can see that I can just write straight onto it. So to speak like this. So can you see now how I often pick this up when I'm in school and just sort of like jot 
um, things down or get children to jot things down. I'm interested to see what this button does actually. Ah, oh, I see. Can you see it's a nice select tool? That's nice and I haven't seen that before. So you can just press it, select what you want and then move it around. That's fantastic. Love it. Love it. So um, you can see now that I can um, click and I can change the colour if I wanted to or I can change the thickness like so. Oh, those are meant to be faces. And also I can change the, um, this is the highlighter tool. So you can see now that I can highlight in various colors as well. Okay, so now we have the undo button, so we can undo it as many times as we want. And then the, the only other button that we have on the screen is this one here, and this tick, and that sort of like shrinks it back and sort of like puts it um, back, saves it to the, the front page ready to sort of like work again so to speak. Now, because Penultimate is um, connected to Evernote, which is another program I use, then um, you can log in from your Evernote account and actually use that if you wish. But if not, then it, you can quite happily use it all by itself. That's absolutely fine. So I hope that has given you some ideas and I will catch you all later hope oh that's not a very good hope you've enjoyed watching it this waffling wilson does apps and i'll say bye <laughs>